Africa is not a country. It is not a big homogeneous market. It's thriving with some of the world's fastest growing economies. To find out more, log on AfricaBusinessRadio.com towards a profitable Africa. Breaking news! Well, let's not break anything, but would you really lend yourself some money if you're a lender? Come on, it's not so hard to do. Just walk up to the mirror and say something like, Hello, me. Looking at I, how much would me borrow I, assuming I want to borrow some money from me? Oh, forget it. You might not be as eligible or even as trustworthy as you think. Here is a test to help you find out. Lenders often consider the four C's when determining if they are likely to get their money back from a loan. The four C's are character, collateral, capability, and capital. Loanclopedia. 1. Character. Why do lenders evaluate character? Even Mother Theresa might have failed the bank character test because, as it is, looking after the sick and the poor isn't necessarily a solid financial move. So scratch that. When lenders analyze your character, they consider it in relation to the likelihood of you repaying a loan. They often ask, do you have stable living arrangements and a stable job? Have you taken out loans in the past and used them responsibly? Are you an organized person who is in control of your finances? Can you prove to the lender that you're fiscally responsible? Hey, get a paper and write these things down. Lenders take your financial obligations seriously and likewise look at your character for reassurance that you take them seriously. Now, how would you judge your own character? Put yourself in a lender's shoes. One of the first things you look at before lending somebody money is how they've treated borrowing in the past. So, checking your own credit online is secure and won't leave a mark on your credit history. Remember that lenders know only what you've included on your application and what's in your credit report. Loanclopedia. 2. Collateral. Why do lenders evaluate collateral? Lenders love collateral because it makes loans less risky. Collateral is an asset you put up against your loan. Cars and houses are some of the most common types of collateral because they are valuable and can be sold to recoup expenses if you default on your loan. So, how will you judge your own collateral? Think about the assets you'd offer as a borrower to see whether they'll be worth it as a lender. Consider if it's a type of collateral you use and how much it's worth. Many lenders know how to value houses and vehicles or they'll conduct a professional property appraisal. Then the lender looks at the current market value and ongoing depreciation to determine how much it can be sold for. Loanclopedia. 3. Capability. How do lenders evaluate capability? A main factor to your potential loan approval is how financially capable you are to repay the loan. Sometimes, this is as simple as lender looking at your income versus your expenses to calculate if you're able to make another payment on top of your other debt or financial obligations. A high salary indicates to a lender that you have good capability to repay a loan, but your debt-to-income DTI ratio provides a complete picture of how much you can afford to borrow. A debt-to-income ratio is calculated by subtracting your monthly debt payment from your monthly income. Having more than one source of income can be a plus because having two streams of cash flow means you're more likely to keep up with repayments even if something goes wrong. How would you judge your own capability? This is pretty easy to do. Look at your budget and see whether you can comfortably squeeze in another payment. If you can, a lender will likely agree. But if it's not guaranteed, and some lenders may not want to risk overburdening you with debt, especially if you don't have steady employment. 4. Capital. How do lenders evaluate capital? Capital is the combination of collateral and your capability. Capital is the value of your asset outside of anything that you may have listed as collateral for your loan. Someone with high amounts of capital will likely have plenty of assets that can be sold to meet repayments. Clear, huh? Lenders might look at your personal capital as an indication of your financial security. So, how would you judge your own capital? Just look at what you own. How much is it really worth? Would you be willing to sell these things in case repayment gets tough? Really think about that part because some people will be like emotional. Oh, my only grandmother gave me those pairs of socks. Hey, all right. If your accept greatly outweigh the loan, you do well on capital. Bottom line, by thinking like a lender, you start to understand the other side of the application process better. And once you do, it becomes easier to match the lender's requirements. Loanclopedia. To increase your chances of being approved, consider the four C's. Character. Collateral capability and capital carefully. You can thank me later. Reading from the Lunclopedia. Debt is one person's liability and another person's assets. Have a good day. Lunclopedia. Africa is not a country. It is not a big homogeneous market. 
It's thriving with some of the world's fastest growing economies. To find out more, log on AfricaBusinessRadio.com towards a profitable Africa.